All right, we'll show you the Supercross frame. This is a. Other than 26, that's 259. This has this one has the that's Radical Rick MX Mug Limited Edition Night stem on it. You got the integrated headset, Supercross fork. This is the Retro 26 based off of the six bar. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's called the six bar rear triangle. Serial numbers are, there's only 50 of these made. This is the Chrome. They only make Chrome that I know of. Euro bottom bracket. Welds are dope. Welds Reynolds, are yeah, they really are. Uh, Reynolds Chrome Ollie. So you know the name. If you're an old school person like me, we always heard about that. Supercross. Got the retro pad from Flight. Only 100 sets of these were made. So you got this with the 50 limited edition 50 frames. Sick, sick bike. Get down here to look at the dropouts. The width on those things are nice. They've got the cutouts hey, in the back. Hey, you know the rule, right? If I lick it, it's mine, right? <laughs> Go ahead. Gross. That's yours now. You own this. <laughs> Dude, you can manual that for days. That look at that rear end. It's short. Yeah. It's a short rear end. It's it's an awesome bike. Yep. A frame. It's not a bike yet. It's not a bike, yeah. Could be. So here I am fresh out of the bike shop with the Supercross SX250 26 inch bike. I just built it up with some parts I had laying around and some night stuff that uh, George was kind enough to send over and some other stuff from Supercross. So this is me just getting it out for the first ride. It's really peppy and it's that's my first impression was just how responsive this bike is. And I think it's because of the geometry. The head tube is 73 degrees. The C tube angle is 71. So that makes it easier to, it's quicker steering and a little bit more laid back on the seat post where SE is the exact opposite. When you look at the OM flyer, that has a 71 degree head tube angle and a 73 degree seat tube angle. So the geometry makes this one feel a little bit bigger uh, when you're riding it and it doesn't feel cramped. Understand I'm coming from a big flyer at 29 to this and I really expected this bike to feel cramped, but it doesn't. Uh, it actually feels very easy to ride. It's very similar to the, the size uh, and the, the way it feels as far as the, the how cramped or uncramped I am as the PK Ripper 27.5 from SE. I have a lot of feeling on that bike. I have a lot of uh, ability to maneuver it. And the SX250 uh, just really kind of made it, it's that, but a little bit faster, and a little bit more aggressive. And I love that. It's easy to wheelie, the front end pops up and the balance wedge on this bike is real easy because the chain stay length is 15.75. Now to, to counterbalance that, the chainstay length on an OM flyer is 17. So the shorter the chainstay, the easier it is to pop the wheel up and manual, the shorter the rear end. So that's why it's it's real easy to pop up and the balance is just super easy to do uh, on this bike. And then having that C-tube that leans back at that 71 instead of the 73 gives you an advantage for wheelies. So it's basically just pulling you back easy to, to get the front wheel up and stay up. Six bar, one, two, three, three more, three more on the other side. Makes it six bar. Here's the build I got. Got some generic pedals that I'm waiting on some red ones. Got the blue and the red uh, Night Spider with some SE cranks. Cool chain from KMC. Supercross Guar, 
six bar, the Carrera seat. Love that thing, it's padded. And what you don't know is underneath here, there is a hole cut out, like you see on the book saddles, that relief hole that they cover on top so it's not ugly. There you go. So relief here, you just don't see it because they covered it so it doesn't make your seat look like an old guy's seat. Your seat post is a little bit loose. Here's what I really want to show off, you guys. You ain't seen this. Man. Carbon fiber handlebars on a big bike. These things are ridiculous. They're stiff, they're light, super easy to control. Love this. Got a box three brake kit. It was cheap. Use some S or uh, these are the the complete Haro wheels that came on my uh, Haro Master. Repurpose those over here. Love this bike, you guys. Super, super easy to control. Super easy to wheelie. Just a fun bike all the way around. Thanks for that. Thanks, John. just for a little quick little fun run the front end just pops up and i think it's a carbon fiber handlebar it's a little one-hander i've been practicing uh again just trying this on a brand new bike leg over what's up uh you can see the bike just wants to stay up i'm basically at a standstill and the bike just wants to stay in the wheelie so that's that's just an, again just a testament to the geometry of this sx250 26 inch bike frame here we are with a little drone you can see it pops up real easy had to adjust a little bit to get seat, but I, that's just because it pops up so quick. It takes a minute to get, you know, balanced on that. And here we go, off to the races. Bike handles real smooth. I've got an MCS bottom bracket on here because that's what the shop had, some messy cranks, uh, and then the super cross stem, because it's an oversized clamping area on those carbon fiber bars, you need a bigger clamp. Uh, or stem because the surface area is a little bit bigger. So the bars and the, the uh, stem are from Supercross and Speedline. Frame is SX250 from Supercross. Got some messy pegs on there. These are just the stock Harl wheels that I put on there. There we go, a little fun. And this bike really does feel like a uh, time machine. I'm really excited. I'm really excited for no reason, uh, pointing at the camera and everything, but I'm having a good time is really what the point is. Uh, the bike feels comfy. I'm able to do everything I was doing on my 29 inch big flyer right away. Uh, and it it's, feels good. It just feels like a good 80s bike. It's a time machine, y'all. We'll feed out, having some fun. I think I'd go up and do some peg hops here, but uh, yeah, definitely take a look at this bike. There's only 50 of them made with the Reynolds Chromoly. And that's big if you're an 80s kid like me, you remember Re uh, Reynolds Chromoly was a big, big deal. And uh, Supercross and Bill Ryan went out and got some Reynolds Chromoly. Uh, the, the, the actual Reynolds Chromoly for this build and to make these 50 bikes. So here you go, Supercross SX250 available from supercross.com. There's only 50 of these made. They are chrome. They are individual serial numbered. Make sure you grab them before they're gone. Take care, everybody. See you later.